Lesson 2. Make a dance party. What's up guys, LT here and welcome to Lesson 2, which is divided into four sections. Make it move, add more sprites, make it colorful and fun, and lastly, share your project. Here is a preview of a dance party that you could create with this lesson. Keep in mind that this is just an example project and you could create a dance party that looks totally different from this as well. Alright guys, are you ready to get started? If so, let's dive in. Alright guys, let's go to the Scratch website, scratch.mit.edu and you're going to sign in using the username and password that you created in lesson 1. Please try to write down and remember your username and password so you have that for next time. All right, once you log in, you'll see a screen kind of like this. It's going to look a little bit different depending on what day you're logging in. But what will remain the same is the menus on the top and these different sections. Today, we're going to start by clicking on the create button to create our first project. Okay, so this is the window that you see when you create a project. And we're going to rename this project. Um, I'm going to call mine Dance Party because that's what we are creating. You can name it something else if you would like. And um, these are the code blocks that you are going to be working with. I know in the beginning, it can be a little bit overwhelming to see so many blocks, but don't worry guys, we're going to work on one block at a time. Okay, so you see the Scratch Cat here, and in Scratch, these characters are called sprites. So you see Sprite, and this is called Sprite 1. You might be asking, wait a minute, that's not Sprite. I know guys, it's not Sprite like the drink on Scratch. Sprite is the characters. Okay, so this is called Sprite 1. But I'm just going to call it Scratch Cat so I know exactly what it is. And let's try to move the Scratch Cat. So first of all, we're going to use the move 10 steps block, which can be found in motion right over here. And let's see what happens. Just click on the move 10 steps block while you have the scratch cat selected and you've got this blue color surrounding it. Oh, it's moving to the right. Oh no, scratch cat is stuck. How do you bring it back? Well, I guess you could drag it, but if you wanted to do it with code, do you have any ideas guys? Oh, that's right. So if you put a negative value, let's do negative 10 so it's faster. You can see it's moving to the left and it gets faster if the value here is big. So if I did 500, it'll go to the other side super quickly, right? <laughs> okay, so that's a super useful block. So let's see, I'm going to use that block to make the cat go from left to right, left to right, left to right, and keep going. Huh, how would we do that? So I'm going to put the cat here, and then let's see. If I do move 500, <laughs> it's too much. Let's do something like move 100, uh, maybe something a bit bigger. Mm, move 300. Oh, that's good. So I'll do 300 and then move back. Okay, so I'm going to choose another move block. If you're on the computer, you can also right click and click duplicate and you'll get the same block. Okay, so let's bring the cat back here and say move 300 steps and then go back. 150. What would happen? Oh, 
That's weird. Why is nothing happening? Well, it's because these two things are happening at the same exact moment. And there's no time in between. So let's go to control and choose the wait one second block. Let's see what happens. Bring the cat over here. Oh, there we go. Yep, that's working. Pretty cool, huh? Well, I want this to happen forever and ever, remember? Oh, do you guys see the forever block? I'm going to put this forever block right around all of the blocks and s click on it. Oh, it's working, but I want the cat to start here. Huh, why is cat getting stuck? Well, it's because we have a different number. 300 and then minus 150. So it goes 300, goes back 150, goes 300, and goes back a little bit. But it doesn't ever come back and forth. So what if, what if I change this to minus 300? Oh, that works. But it looks like it's moving too fast. What if I added another, wait one second here. Ah, already looking so much better. Okay, but you know how I keep having to move the cat where I want it to start? What if I wanted the cat to always start here without me having to drag it over? Well, go to motion and place the cat where you want it to be. And when you do, you'll notice the number beside X and Y are changing here and also here. So I'm going to put it where I want and I'm going to drag, go to X, Y, and then click on it. And there you go. Cat is moving. Yay! Awesome. Well, now it's your turn. Use the go to blocks. And the move blocks, which is here. And also wait and forever to make your character move the way you want. Okay, so we've done that. And we're going to now put when green flag kick clicked on top of all that. The reason is we don't want to always have to click on this when the project is starting. So that's why we have when green flag clicked so that we just have to click this button right here. There we go. Our cat is moving. 